gotten since the mandate expired 24 hours ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Molly Pat. But one local business says that they are not quite ready to ditch the masks just yet. KSNT News reporter Noah Oxner takes us to Manhattan. Just in case, we're just taking that extra step just to keep it going just a little bit longer. Jake Vogelai says when I asked him why he still wants his customers to keep the mask on inside the business he co-owns in downtown Manhattan after the city mask mandate expired Sunday night. Kind of want to take the wait and see approach just to just to make sure we're staying safe. I love it that the CDC came out with it. I appreciate that the, the city is thinking we're at a point where we can drop that. We just want to make sure we're just that extra step, making sure that our, our my employees and all of our customers are safe at the same time. Even with the mandate expiring, Manhattan Brewing Company and all businesses still have the right to require masks. How businesses and individuals choose to go forward to utilize the mask or not will be an individual business choice. We do understand some people are still not comfortable without the mask. We also know some business owners want to prefer to keep the mask and people have different health needs. And so it will be an individual and a business choice going forward. Businesses aren't the only ones. In a statement given to KSNT News today, a spokesperson for K-State said, quote, K-State is aware of recent changes by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention to face-to-face -face governing guidance for fully vaccinated people. The university policy is under evaluation and changes will be announced as soon as possible. Until then, the policy regarding face coverings indoor spaces remains, end quote. Between all of the changes, Riley County Health Director Julie Gibbs says, use your judgment. We are following CDC guidance, so if you're fully vaccinated, you can um, go without a mask indoors or outdoors. Just use your best judgment. If you're in a place that's very crowded, you may want to go ahead and mask up. And even with the changes, Jake says his customers are understanding. Most people are nice. You get the occasional, the rarity that comes in, wants to put up a fight about it. But honestly, we, we don't get a lot of those. We get a lot of people, Most everyone's really nice about it. And we really appreciate that. We have the, some of the best customers that we could ask for, especially here in this town, this city. We love it. So. And tonight, the Manhattan Area Chamber of Commerce echoing that same message that mask requirements are now up to un individual businesses. So to make it easier to understand in Manhattan, just keep your mask in your pocket, your purse, or your car, and look at biz business doors for guidance as you can as you walk in as well. So just hang on a little bit longer and just keep that mask handy as long as you can. We're almost there. And Raleigh County is also stepping up to